Welcome. Today we are going to talk about the beer fuss and the beer fuss measures beer. So let's try to pour a sample and see how it works. In this video, we are going to talk about spectroscopy and chemometrics. But before we get to that, let's run a sample. So in three minutes, we'll have the different parameters come up on the screen here. But what the beer fuss measures is alcohol, real extract, and densities, and pH, and then all the derived parameters from these. That's, for example, calories. But how does it actually work? The beer fuss works by shooting light through the sample that we put into it. And then you think light isn't that everywhere around us. What's, what's going on here? Um, it's not the visual light that we're looking at with the beer fuss. The beer fuss doesn't use uh, color to determine what is actually in the sample. We use something called infrared light. And infrared light comes from um, just next to, next to the visual spectrum where human eyes can't see. Um, An infrared light looks at the, these vibrations in the different molecules. So, and that's why it's so precise in regards to, for example, alcohol, where you have a very, very sharp, we call it a peak in the spectrum of the light. And at that spectrum, we can transpose over to data by using uh, the instrument uses quite advanced mathematics to translate the alcohol peak into an actual alcohol value. To get really nerdy and to get into the essence of this machine, the IR light that we use is transposed with a mathematical equation called Fourier transformation. Fast forward, the sample is done, the data is ready, and we can have a look at that on the screen now. And that's how the beer fuss works. 